Amnesia of a Dark Descent. Uh, we're gonna go back to the basement because I'm a stoops and I forgot to get the rest of the stuff because there's four things instead of there being uh, two because I'm smart like that. But first we're gonna put the chemistry pot here. If I remember how to do things, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go make our way back down. Hope for the best. I know Mr. Face is around the corner. We know he is. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. Impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened the fire on two young men fighting their fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. He's still down here, man. Still hear him jingle jangling. So there should be two pieces left to get. And I'm not sure where they are. I think Mr. Face might be in around here. I can hear him. And I hope I don't die at the beginning of this episode because that will be some shitty, shitty balls. Okay, I think I got the stuff in here. This is where the aqua regatta was. Right? Yes. So we need to leave here. I hate those jangling chains. I really, really, really don't like the sound of them. They sound like they're like right there, but they're not, because I know he's not right there. Okay. Woman up. I want to boil it, I think. Okay. I'm gonna go in here. Stop talking. Everything's gone. Okay, this is the room collapse, so we got in here already. This room here. Ow. There's another one there. We're closing this door behind us because I don't trust anything. Okay. Uh, stop. Please. Should be one more. And <coughs> should be this room over here. I hate the sound of the steady steps. I really hope Mr. Face isn't here because it will suck so much. There are lots and lots of bottles though. Here it is. Alright, we are good. Now it's time to book the fuck out of here. Fuck it. Fuck it, do it. Fuck it. Mr. Face will not touch our butts. He will not touch our butts. Boop. After enduring three days of 
In Algaris, the sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to the Galpeter. Having reached the British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on the SS Hornston, leading for London. That was the one I didn't get to finish reading last time. Time to run, 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 run. Ew, ew, don't touch the gross stuff. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so we're done here. Um, but the laboratory's there, isn't it? And I gotta get to the laboratory to finish my stuff. Can I move across this? It didn't hurt me? What is this bullshit? <clears throat> he sat down by the kibash. While gasping for air, sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand veiled ground. Yeah, this door is going back and forth in every which ways. We're not jumping down again because we learned our lesson last time. two pieces. Jesus Christ. And that. There. Now. Turn on the burner first. Is it this? Or is it this? Woo! Alright. One. Two. Nothing coming up. Yay! We have potion. We have magical acid bottle. Yes, yes. What a monster is down there. Okay. Let us. Let us. Let us go. The stairs fell down. Why did the stairs fall down? Piano yeah, ship, though. Find a way to climb back up. Can I relight this thing? Oh, it automatically did it by itself. What a bows. Get out. It aligned itself like magic. Alright. <clears throat> it became impossible to avoid the commotion the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters of the French holder Oh, we already read this. It just keeps repeating itself. This is terrifying. No, it's not. Is it not supposed to? No? Ow! That fucking hurt! Delicious juice on here. Into the refinery we go. It's pretty dank in here. We shut it up. Sure is oh, dark in here. Yes. And there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. Okay. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? 
Pay attention, Dandor. It's important that you idiot. keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Man, the Goopy Goop is gonna eat your fucking face. I missed your face. It was Mr. Face. It was Mr. Face. Close the door behind us. Yes, and now we'll turn on the lights so you can see and you can stop freaking the fuck out. Oh, so wrong. What am I doing in here? There's no mementos. What the fuck am I doing in here? There's a lot of a lot of a lot of did it out of them. I only have three. Ugh, I know. Oh my god, please, no doors. Doors just stop. I'm closing this door. It's staying closed. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, <coughs> Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I don't know. But I'm spooked. It's time to go confront Mr. Face. Hopefully not, because I really, really don't want to do that. Looks like the dog's fucking dying somewhere. Okay. Well, there's a hole right there, and the goopy goop is fucking moving. Look at it. Also, I'm probably going insane. Uh, no, it's just moving on its own. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna leave this part here. Thank you for watching. And, and being scared with me and these bottles really need to stop moving like why are you moving bottles I throw you but um Mr. Face is down here so thank you and I will see all you guys in the next video bye bye